Okay, Brevis Test Customs. Today we're going to install the final upgrade for now on our laser. Um, this is the U Spot lens. Uh, more information here if you guys want to check it out. So basically, it's got dual lenses in this part here. Now, this is essentially the same part that we replaced out in our previous video installing the air assist. As you can see, it's still got your lines already on it for the air assist nozzle itself. So it's essentially it's the same sort of process. You just got to unscrew the previous one and install this and that's pretty much it. So it's probably a little bit hard to see. Maybe if I look through this side, you can see here that it's what it does is it focuses the beam even more. So essentially it's not really increasing the power as such, it's just making sure that the the beam is as focused as it can be to increase the, the performance of it. So you can see here that it's actually making that writing a lot smaller if we move it away. You can see it's really going to focus that beam. So let's get this installed. Okay, so basically you're just going to first uninstall whatever you've got, whether it's a stock um, end or not. This has got our air assist on it, so we're going to unscrew the grub screws for the nozzle itself. That'll slide off. Slide off, you unscrew this. Now this is fairly loose because it's set to a certain um, distance from the body itself. Okay, so we've got the old one off. This just compares the two differences. As you can see, it's actually a little bit shorter than the unit that's just come out. So you can see the original lens in here, and that replaces it, so it's, you don't have to worry about trying to screw this lens in like the last one to get the um, offset right. It's already got pre-installed, so literally you've just got to screw this back in. Just be careful when you get it started that you're not cross-threading it. If you're really having to force it, you know you haven't got it in properly. So now you just put your uh, air assist nozzle back on if you're running it. If not, well, this is basically the end of it here. Obviously, most guys are going to have the magnetic cover as well which it still works with but we've got the air assist so it's going to obviously put that back on nice tight fit these here that's what i love about these is a really tight fit there's no air leak at all in these so just push it all the way up to ensure you've got length and pretty much you're going to put this back on the machine so we've got some samples here from plyco we've used his previous videos just a couple of different ones i've got here most of them are sort of come in a various thickness more of them here, a couple of different types of bamboo, um, leave this one out, more here, good range of um, ones I've got, they come in different sizes, they also do offer cut to size as well, but we've picked up a couple of full sheets at 300 by 600, which is perfect size for our machine, so the wood we're going to use today is going to be this birch ply here, it's got a nice grain to it, and um, once this has been polished up or varnished, whatever you do, it's really going to pop, so on today's video, we, instead of just doing some testing, we're going to also make a clock, which we found here. Uh, should really complement this wood as well once it's been finished up. So let's get that on the machine and we're going to see what it comes out like. So we've done a little bit of testing here, just trying to dial in our engraving settings, our, our cut settings. In the end we sort of finalised on about 10 millimetres a second for our cut. Uh, we did 10 passes I believe it was, and it dropped down 0.3 mil each pass. Um, this was obviously our final cut. Um, you can see we had a little bit of issue here with the burn, burn lines not being even on one axis. Um, we sort of found that there's a little bit of play in the magnetic mount, we sort of twisted it and got it a lot better. And then for our engraving, we, we played around a lot and we finalized on 30 millimeters a second, but still at 100%. I know a lot of people run sort of half power for their engraving, but for us, we found the best result on this wood was at 100%. So then we moved on to get our clock made and this is how it's turned out. Come out nice. Um, same settings we, we were playing around with on our test piece is what we used on this and it's cut through pretty clean. 
This is the back side. Um, there's a little bit of burn marks here because we used a bit of tape just to be safe to hold down all these little pieces. We were worried with the air assist that it might pop them up and then sort of get in the way. There was one little small area we noticed right in here where that's obviously been the case. But other than that, it's cut pretty cleanly. Pretty happy with it. Um, obviously, the risk with taping stuff down is getting it off cleanly. We did snap a little bit through here. Uh, we've glued it back together. We won't sort of notice it too much. So that's just something to take into account. We still need to finalise what we're going to do with our bed because obviously this is a dual purpose machine. It's both a laser and a CNC. So we're still trying to work out what we're going to do with the bed. We did buy a little tiny bed which is good for small stuff but the size we need is sort of a custom size. But then when we put that on we do run out of um, Z height as well. So we've got to address that. So final thoughts with the U-Spot laser. It's definitely increased the power a lot. We were sort of having to run about five millimeters a second and we did about 10 passes to get it to cut through this material so now we're doing it double the speed and we've dropped a few passes so it's increased it um, we could probably do it in probably eight passes i think if we were played around a little bit more but we were just making sure that we cut through so a little bit more trial and error and we'll really tweak these settings and now that we've got all the upgrades we're going to need so if you guys want to check it out this is the link here to the site I mean, it's well, it's a, it's a big investment for these lasers by the time you buy all the upgrades, but it's it's well worth it. So until the next video, have a good one.